Teachers and administrators in the Brooklyn Center School District have reason to celebrate this year. And Brooklyn Center Schools saw one of the largest enrollment increases in the state. And as Delane Cleveland reports, district officials have a few ideas as to why. Do I have a volunteer to read this paragraph? Behind every good student is a good teacher. C-A, do you know what that is? And these 29 kids in Amanda Keller's fourth grade class hang on to her every word. Show five. What does it mean? Not bad for the first class after recess. And the kids are great. They have a lot of character and energy. Um, so yeah, I just love being here. Nice job. This is Keller's first year as a teacher in the Brooklyn Center School District, a job that's a direct result of an increase in enrollment. So I feel very blessed to um, work here. The Brooklyn Center School District saw a 4.3% growth in enrollment compared to last year. And according to the Minnesota Department of Education, that's one of the highest increases in the state. Two to one. Earl Brown Brown principal enrollment. Jane Ellis Which has a few a ideas as to why. We're seeing more residents who are currently living within the city and buying homes. So not only are we seeing growth in places like Brookdale and throughout, it's having a spreading out effect in our neighborhoods. And it's, we're seeing it in the schools. Oh, show five. However, that's just one factor. Superintendent Keith Lester also gives direction. big credit to a three-year, $3 million grant from the McKnight Foundation aimed at helping students in preschool through third grade develop better reading skills. It's making people think, well, this is a program that goes through third grade, and our kids can benefit from it. And we're getting response from parents. They want classes on how to help their kids do better on the step assessment that's tied to the McKnight grant. A positive trend in the name of academic achievement. He would just. And as long as the student growth and academic success continues, it will mean good news for teachers such as Miss Keller. You know, it is kind of hard um, for teachers to get a job right now. I know there are a lot of budget cuts and things like that. Um, so it is hard, but I feel thankful that I have a job right now. In Brooklyn Center, Delane Cleveland, 12 News. On the flip side, the nearby Anoka Hennepin School District has seen enrollment decline by more than 5%, and that's one of the biggest drops in the metro area. School officials there attribute the drop to the declining birth rate.